Hello guys and welcome to Jarelina's Reborn Nursery. Here I have my latest addition to my collection. She is the precious sculpt and she was painted by Cheryl Martin from Chamart Silicone Art Dolls and she was rooted by Karen Lowe. The sculptor name is um, Laurie Sullivan Roy. So she was poured in a Ecoflex 20 with a slaker. So she's a very soft baby and she moves incre incredibly well, very soft. Well, I have a topic today that I had um, told in the previous video I was going to do, why I decide to call her journey. Well, her name became because when I start um, reborn, um, start collecting and purchase my first doll, then I went into YouTube videos and see a lot of other collectors, and I fall in love with silicon, very much curiosity to the silicon medium. So I watched a particular video that was. Um, I mentioned it in my box opening video was the video of Maria from Bella Beans Nursery and she was opening a full body silicone Tiana um, by Elena Westbrook and she told um, the artist name and the nursery page and everything and I'm not just fall in love with the painting but also the presentation because this is very important for me it's not everything because the baby is the most important thing but the presentation for me is important too so i don't know how many times i watched that video and i fell in love with that baby and then i went to facebook and start searching in charles past work and i found this sculpt she was made in a Caucasian skin tone, but I fell in love with the scope, with the face, with her hands. And then I contact um, Cheryl. I start collecting in May. I think I contacted her, her on June or July, June, I think. So I was a bit nervous because silicones are very pricey. But then she calls me down and I asked her so many questions and she made a, uh, told me about the payment plans and also she put me in contact with the sculptor. So then I, I say, well, I have a lot of months coming for pay her full, in full and I contacted her in May, in June, and then in she was scheduled to be painted in March. So I have plenty of time to pay her off. But I was a bit nervous. I contacted the, the sculptor and I pay, pay her off the kit. And Laurie was going to send the kit to Cheryl to be painted. Um, so I start thinking how i can afford the baby the best way to do it without being so so um tight in the budget and then i start looking at more videos on about the reborning thing and i said well i think i can do that maybe i can paint babies to pay off my silicon baby and that's how i ended up um, in my journey to start painting reborns because of her because I want her to be paid off and I do the investment and buy everything from July and in September I start painting I think was was September sorry and then in September I start on reborning and all the money I I do with the reborning thing and, and selling reborns 
went to this baby. I think I I didn't um start painting before because I was doing layaways to to costumes was the Charles sculpt and the Levi sculpt by Lydia Torres Esposito. So I was uh, doing a lot. Then in September, I st um, start reborning to pay her off. And I start paying her really in November because the first one wasn't the best ones. And I really sold them very cheap. And then when I start doing a better, decent work, then I going I go to reborns and everything you have to do to sell the baby. So I was a bit scared, but I did it. I per pay her off on January. So it was a real journey for me because I'm not rich. And I am new to the collecting, so I have a few dolls. I I can't sew four or five dolls to afford a silicone baby. So it was a very tough beginning because at the beginning of my journey collecting, I ended up trying to have a silicone baby. So it was a bit hard. But the other part of the the topic today is um how she live up to her name um because she's journey yes it was a journey to have her but then when the artist finally um paints her and karen roots her karen gets sick i was a bit um sad for that because i didn't know when she will come but then Karen, I don't know how she did magic and and she did it. She she finished her. So then I um when she was um shipped to me, she came from Australia. I live in Puerto Rico, so I have a, an idea. I think um the day she will come, but it ended up doing more days because of the holidays and was a weekend too. But then the the way she came was very funny because uh, I received a baby from Hungary that was the make sculpt um, by Vicky Cormos and he arrived from Hungary two days after I purchased that baby so I was thinking maybe four days she's here no she was shipped on on Tuesday and she came a Tuesday so she um travels a week for me it was a lot <laughs> I wait for this baby nine months so <laughs> I was a bit um um worried not scared but worried because it was a very long travel but she made it she went to singapore from australia to singapore then from singapore to china from china to korea from korea to alaska then she went to kentucky and this is the the last um tracking information i have is that she came from Kentucky to Puerto Rico. So she made it. She was in a very long journey to go home with me. So I am very happy with her. I'm very uh, impressed with the, the details of her because I know silicones are much harder to paint, but she became more beautiful that I thought she will be. And she's a very heavy baby. And she's a very soft baby. And uh, super cute one. And this is the outfit she came with. I didn't realize what a Peter Rabbit outfit. I was so excited and willing to 
um, touch her and hold her that I remove everything without knowing. So that's her name and what she had that name on my journey to get her. So she's a journey in all the, the, the meaningful world, world, word, sorry. So guys, that's what I was going to share with you. I am going to make another video, maybe changing her because I changed her so many times. I don't want to do it again because, you know, silicones are not vinyl and I want her to be in pristine condition as long as I can. But if, if, if for me, I will change her three times a day and I am trying not to. The first day I, I changed her like three times. So I was a bit trying to mentalize that. But she is so gorgeous. So guys, thank you for watching, for visiting my nursery again. Um, I'm going to end this video here and see you next time. Bye-bye.